Hey all, welcome back to another video. Um, original plan was to do a follow up to the spider serum video. Um, people had asked a lot of questions about the durability of the spider serum webs and how they'd hold up and if they'd be actually good on a table versus um, just for dioramas and and such and honestly I wasn't 100% sure um, the Arachnorock spider that I did that base um, was gonna be pretty sheltered because it was gonna be underneath the model so I'm hoping it will hold up fairly well but I do have some ideas on how to stiffen it up um, I'm going to try well I've got three ways that I'm gonna try um, I've got PVA glue and water which is just normal white glue um, put it in a spray bottle dilute it and give it a, a, a spray over the the webbing and hopefully it will harden up a bit um, the next way was going to be just trying to do overcoat um, testers GW um, anything really uh, just normal matte overcoat is usually what I use um, if that doesn't work, the other idea I had was hairspray. Um, that might be a little harsh and you're going to have to be very careful applying it, but I mean, any of those you're going to have to be really careful in applying. Um, so I went to try and do some more webbing. And it didn't work out quite the way I wanted it to. Um, when I applied more web webbing, it uh, it did all right. Um, but I came back and I decided that I wanted um, more of the webbing to test to get it uh, get it harder, get it more durable. Um, after I had cleaned out or something uh, after I cleaned it out it uh, didn't do so well it dissolved the the first set of webs so I think some of the cleaning agent was still in there which uh, I guess we'll put that in the drawback column because um, I definitely didn't expect that to happen and so I don't have any webbing to test to make it more durable um, I'll give it another shot at some point. Uh, I just don't know when. So right now I'm just painting some um, mushroom forests for fantasy. Warhammer Fantasy, which is what my friends and I primarily play. Um, got these from a company, I believe in Ukraine, called Grabblecast. And they do some pretty cool stuff. Um, this is probably their most popular, uh, design of terrain. Um, but they also have docks and boats and they got cargo stuff like they got a little treasure chest, bags of grain, um, boxes, crates that you can stack up just general scatter terrain uh it's a good price it's good quality cast it's all resin um really happy with how much i got versus how much i paid and even though it was coming from ukraine i was even happy with how long it took to get to me um so these are mounted on bases that will fit inside the gw forest um we got some custom cut round bases and got some adhesive disc magnets that are the same size as the GW Forest. Uh, so in theory, I'll stick those on the bottom of this. And if we roll a mushroom forest, we will be able to just pull up the trees and put down these little guys. Um, I got a couple things for scale that I can show. There's a dwarf hammer, 
Uh, as a plague bearer. Let me see if I can get these farther back. Make it look like they're in the jungle. So, I mean, the scale's right. It's giant mushrooms. Um, super detailed. Ridges are all really clean. Didn't have a ton of release agent um, to have to deal with. Uh, you can see the, the ridges with the brown, with the bleach bone, and then dry brush of white. Um, and then the underneath. I just got them on there with a poster tack right now until... I glue them on, and uh, yeah, uh, they came in a set of three, and I'd have to look up the price, because uh, I can't remember, but they were a good deal, they're good quality, um, totally going to do more orders from them again, um, maybe even more mushrooms, so I can do different colors, and uh, really have a, a really goblin looking uh, board um, I would check them out if I were you uh, the bases that we got um, the adhesive discs and the wooden bases um, they weren't acrylic they are acrylic uh, we got those from Litco I believe I'm not even sure if they're around anymore I would have to double check that but overall very happy with my purchase. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit more work on these and uh, hopefully I'll show you the, the finished product here in uh, a little bit and uh, we'll go from there.